Well, frankly, I'm kind of... Uh, I don't... Uh, I'm just not not feeling it this time around. I don't... We, we have the quest. We gotta save the world. But nothing we really do means anything. No, nothing, nothing actually matters. I don't know. I'm just... I'm just gonna rest for a while, guys. We're just gonna... Uh, I'm not feeling it yet. Yeah, you know, the goddess probably won't mind if we take another rest here. This this will. Oh, you have starved to death. You should have listened. I'm sending you to the Hell Zone to think about what you've done. Oh god, let's get out of here before the noise starts. So this is something that I found out really recently. Knives. If you don't eat, you will die. After like maybe, well, it says right there, after going four nights without eating anything. So the routine is still necessary in order to even lose the game. You have to go out and eat. Or you could just go through the hell zone over and over and over again. There I am. And here we go. Back in the very place that I died at. And I'm still tired. Nope, still tired. I think you get the idea. I just realized that God says, Look, I know you're depressed. We are all some. We all are sometimes. You just can't neglect your diet, though. You will die if you continue like this. As an omniscient being, I demand you find food. Hmm. Also, I don't think I've ever made this face before. I'm so sad. Well, let's eat some bones. Surely bones are good for us. Damn right, yeah. Your score today is a six? Why are you even wasting my time? Be gone with you! That's what made me pee on him the first time I played. It's day 21, everybody. On day 20, Everybody in the town disappears. Hey, Piss Maniac. Well, you know what? Since you're the only one here, I guess it's alright to do this. Hmm, 24. Not my best. Do you still have trouble, Sky Pilgrim? Yep. What's up, Detective? Nope, he says the exact same thing. As does this guy. Hmm, I wonder what else has changed. Hello there, little lady. So much negative space. Maybe we could get an interior designer out here to spruce things up a bit. That sounds like an excellent idea. These stones make me remember how much I love apocalypse prophecies. Ah, such sweet memories. This box is the founding spot of a new pilgrim colony. Don't tell the sky pilgrims. Oh, your secret is safe with me, sir. Endless corridors, eternal darkness, deep echoing caverns. Yes, I think I'm falling in love. Secretly, I am too. Playing video games always makes the infinite misery of my existence seem more tolerable. Well, by comparison. These games are so awful. Not all of them. Have you given Snake a chance? That one guy died or something. I don't know. Hmm. Looks like you won the staring contest. 
Ah, the center piss lends a rustic quality to the air. Keep it up. I think you're onto something. Really? Wow, this is great. The piss has really made the tunnels feel so much more homey. Here, keep the change. Now away. Geez, stop that. Oh yeah, we never found out what this guy says. Confused citizen. Still no Berg. Not very happy. Kinda hungry. Need Berg. Have piss. Piss, not Berg, no! No! Also, somebody in the Something Awful thread, I believe, told me that I could piss on this guy until he gave me a burger. That's not a burger at all. I seek the Ultra Berg. Get out of the way. Well, that looks like a lost cause now. It's day 30. Looks like something else has changed. Ah, the feeling of gross weird plants in my feet. How novel. You're wearing shoes. I assume those shoes have no soul anymore. And neither do you. Do you know what's going on? You don't know what's going on. Hi there, pilgrim. Ah, so this is what a living in a house is like. I've changed my... I'm a changed pilgrim. How touching. You look new here. Ah, it's a sky pilgrim. This is what they're like. Crush, destroy, trample, death. This is my life. Pilgrim Village is a mess. I honestly just want to rub my face in the dirt for a while. I feel like that every morning. Stamp, crush, blood, murder. This home is lovely. I will take it. The spoils of war, baby. I think the sky pilgrims have finally come down. The earth, so vast so pl and plentiful. It is the American... <laughs> is this the American dream? Well, I do want to conquer everything in my sight now. And you need to bomb more brown people. I feel like a new pilgrim. An earth pilgrim, if you will. Or a neo-pilgrim. Like those guys in that anime. Just steal that from you. Blood, crush, murder, death. If there is but one thing I love... It's gonna be murder. Let's dance, baby. I feel it. I feel it. Ah, the old factories. Blood, skulls, violence, filth. I will convert this factory into death fa a death factory. Are you ready to rumble? Hmm, I feel that too, baby. Blood, crush, trample, crops. I really made a killing from this campaign. Ha ha ha. That's not funny. Okay, you're the same. I hear they have HDTV down here. Could it be true? Well, there used to be many TVs down there. If you added all of the TVs together, it could form a super TV. Similar to what the Sky Pilgrims have done with their, uh, their mechas. Oh, no. I feel so small. I need to crush everything. So it's not so big. Fair enough, friend. Uh-oh. It looks like somebody has done my work for me. I did not do the tedious quest. Hmm. Yep, everybody's been converted. How strange that this should happen on its own. Also, I've been denied the ability to turn into a cyborg. I'm only mildly disappointed. Oh dear, this is a change. I wonder where the goddess went. Hi, I'm Dindigar. Your goddess friend took my shift. If you're looking for her, I'd turn back. Sorry. Well, that is quite worrying. After all, there's still 20 days to go for us to save the world. Surely we can do that in 20 days. Hmm. Ah, here she is. How embarrassing. Hey, go get the relics, jeez. That sounds like an excellent idea. Hmm, right after this nap. Hey everyone, it's day 40. All these gross weird plants, yes, yes. I have no plans left. All I want is to watch TV eat bergs. Not like I've got the gold bars now or anything. All I wanted was a death buggy. 
But now all I wish for is death. I feel that way every morning. Things certainly have changed. Where are all the robots? <gasps> After the former tenant died, I decided to move in. Ha ha ha! Bit of a corpse humor. Well, the Sky Pilgrims definitely ruined everything. See ya. Living inside all the time is making me claustrophobic and increasingly neurotic. But it's even worse outside. Now where do I have to go? Or now where do I have to go? Now where do I have to go? This dirt doesn't taste as good as I expected. The whole place is a total letdown. Yep. I'm just a failure pilgrim. Maybe... Well, it says Sky Pilgrim, not Failure Pilgrim. Maybe I should go home to the rafters, leaving the big city. Oh, what am I saying? I have a fan, please. Already grown tired of everything ever. There's a giant skull here. <gasps> Impossible screeching emanating from the unknown source. Wow, I could ride all of these people. <gasps> I died, I died. Also died. Death. Death again. Many death. All sorts of death. Ah, this is the memorial site thing. Well, at least I have you to depend on, piss maniac. How's my piss doing today? 18. Hmm. You again. Hey, you guys finally got a TV. They don't have HDTV, only old TV. What a bummer this place is. Hi, I'm the new TV. I hate my life and stuff too, I guess. Ah, damn it. Hmm. Everything is indefinitely huge. I can never escape the existential terror. Well, maybe I can get a new TV at least. Sounds like a weird owl song. I should just kill myself, or maybe I'll just go bowling. I guess this place isn't so different from the village. I wish these weird skeleton people would stop nibbling on my flesh, though. I find it cute. Hey, goddess! There's ten days left before the end of the world. What do you have to say about that? The same old thing. Pardon me, Dracula. Well, the world's ending, and I could really care less, so... Uh-oh, don't want to starve to death, and I'm looking very haggard. How fortunate that I have my own trash dump to dig through. I'm not certain how these trash cans can grow food faster than I can. Seems unfair. However, with that, I pretty much have everything I need. Perhaps I shall piss on some bones in celebration. Alright, well, whatever. I can sleep three times before I have to worry about stuff. Well, it's day 49, and life is feeling pretty good. What? No, I don't want to plant anything. If I did, it, I wouldn't be able to harvest. After all, it's the end of the world. Everything looks pretty normal for the end of the world. I have zero goddess relics, and I'm not sure that anything really is different. Hmm. Looks like everything is the same to me. I expected the t skies to turn red or something. All the pilgrims are still down here. All the cyborgs are still cyborgy. Which means somewhere around here there's a cyborg pilgrim. 
I suppose on day 50 I could probably talk to Elizabeth of the Woods, although she's probably hightailed it out of here. There's no way of knowing. Hello there, little lady. I can't wait for the moon to crash into this worthless planet. Wake me up when it's almost here. Well, it's almost here. You fool. Everything's ruined. All we can do now is watch. I still can't believe this. How embarrassing. Do you have any popcorn? I want to enjoy this at least. Oh, it's too much. I'm gonna cry. Wasn't that a great ending? Well, that's two endings down. There's only really one left. And it has to do with a very special place. Alright, first let's go ahead and grab this. The first of the three Tears of God. Heck yeah. Next, of course, is in the beta rooms. The next Tear of God. That's two out of three. But where could the third one be? It's in the third room. It's in, it's in the third room. Every, everybody knows it's in the third room. Everything says it's in, the, it's in the third room. There we go. It is day 14. I have dug all I can dig. Much My time here is up. I return now to the void from which I came. I'm assuming that implies that all archaeologists come from the void. Here it is. The final room area that I have not shown off yet. And for good reason? No, no real good reason. That's a very tall ladder. And this is a very large area. This is the Omega Runes. Let's see what we got here. Crumbs, seeds, crumbs. This was never on my routine at any point that I played the game. Hi. What is this strange beast? What is it doing down here? It just keeps mumbling about video games. This might be the avatar for the developer. Hmm. Oh good, gold. I have tons of gold, but let's grab this anyway. Not, I can't handle it. I'm too tired from carrying so much gold. I refuse to take any more. As you wish. It's a very large skull. Haha. -ha. Like I tell you about the gems of power. You fool. When will you learn? Perhaps never. Do we have you finally caged, Mr. Archaeologist? I'm trapped no matter where I go, so why not? Why not indeed? Feed me. That's not how you feed me. It reminds me. Oh, great. What's up, goblin alien? You never saw any of this. I didn't see that, and neither did you, so stop pissing on me. Yowza, it's been a long time since I've seen any hip cats. Let's dance. I like a good dance. Warning, reading in such dark places is not good for your vision. Basically, please go away, nerd. That's hurtful, too. Looks like you got yourself set up here. You mind if I use your uh, facilities? There we go. I'm trying to start a new life down here. Too much gold. Destroyed by the elusive Goldemon. I've been watching this toilet for countless eons, and I still can't figure out what it's doing up here. It's accepting piss. What does it look like it's doing? Hmm.
Hello, Pilgrim. I dream of a world where all paths are barricaded, one where all transport is really annoying or impossible. Yes, this is my only wish, and that's why I've begun building gates around everything. Ah, he must work for the transportation co uh, company of Onsen from Earthbound? Wow, you're a very large dwarf. None shall pass. I have passed. Deal with it. Well, look you what we have here. You have all three tiers of God. Bring them to the Hell Zone to unlock an ancient secret. That sounds like a fine idea. Let's do that now. First, I don't think... Oh, it's Bill. I haven't seen him in a while. Oh. Yeah, Spico here. I'm a big deal now. After being underground so long, it's pretty surprising. Well, see you around, kid. Beep, beep. I don't think you will. We're going to facilitate the Prophecy of Apocalypse. Uh, always get a good stretch in before you destroy the world. If ending the world is wrong, I don't want to be right. Pretend nothing even happened. Go back to the ends. Well, that's fine and everything, except we've kind of brought the three tears to the evil god here. So it might be time for him to go. I have brought you the three tears, evil god. Now be gone with you. Go forth and play. You have ushered in a new era of terror. Welcome to the new world. Oh yes. Yes, much about this is... fun. So while I walk around the dead world... Let's talk about Crypt Worlds, and as Cliff Ibe brought up, Games as Art. If you've played along with me and grabbed the three tiers, you'll notice that every area of the game is burning and chaotic. All life, sounds, and entities removed, but the doors all work, if they were opened, to the point where even the debug maze burns. That takes some dedication to redo each of the 20 areas so they still work, just to show off how pointless the chaos ending is. There are no credits, no other texts, no end. You just wander and look at the flames. The whole thing is a pointless joke. And that's Crypt Worlds in a nutshell. So much work for a pointless joke. Oscar Wilde quite rightly said, all art is useless, and that may sound as if that means it's something not worth supporting. But if you actually think about it, the things that matter in life are useless. Love is useless. Wine is useless. Art is the love and wine of life. It is the extra without which life is not worth living. Stephen Fry. Are video games art? Fuck yeah, they are. Even Crypt World, an expression of someone's whimsical despair. The irony of sadness that the developers were willing to laugh at. Everything is terrible, and it's great. Don't make the mistake of thinking that just because something is messy, low quality, and ugly, that it isn't good. There was a lot of love put into this project, and I think that shows. Once you've given in to the crap, you start noticing the little gems inside. As an artist myself, I know what it's like to labor in obscurity despite all the effort put in. It's enough to make someone lose hope, give up, go get a real job, and burn all your paintbrushes. No one gave up on Crypt Worlds. It was finished and in its strange way, polished. There are no credits in this game, so I'll just read them from the text file that it came with. Thank you, Elizabeth Deadman. 
Thank you, Cicada Marionette. Thank you, Lil Ith. And of course, thank you all for watching. Hello, goddess. What do you think of the new world that I've brought to you? Great job. You ruined everything. Hope you're happy, you nerd. I'm never happy. And I don't think I can go down... Oh! Oh, yes, I can. I did not know that. Hmm. Which means... I can still visit hell. Let me see if I can do that now. Hell should be over this way. Or not. Am I misremembering? Was it actually this way? Um, hmm. Looks like I can't even go to hell for my transgressions. Although I would not necessarily say this place is hell, it certainly is more boring than hell. No skeletons to talk to. No nothing. This is the end of the world. This is what the world has become. Hmm. 